So believe it or not, but the next Mac Mini is going to be an absolute game changer for several reasons. And what's even more exciting is I don't think we're going to have to wait that long for it. So as technology improves over time, so do these Mac Minis. Now we can pretty much expect that the next Mac Mini is going to have a better CPU. I'm going to go on a limb here and say that they're going to be called M3 and M3 Pro, but that's not all. You see, the Mac Mini, which I already consider to be one of the Apple's finest products, is going to be even better than that. Now, it's really interesting that there have been these rumors floating around for some time now, and that is that the Mac Mini is going to get an updated design. Because, let's face it, the design of the Mac Mini, it's cute, but it's like 10 years old, and it's about time that we see something new. And because the M CPUs don't require big fans and are small to begin with, most of the space in the Mac Mini chassis is not really being used. And because Apple is all about efficiency, you know, in the bling bling department, we can sort of expect a thinner Mac Mini in the future, which is great because it will take up less space and it will even be more capable to travel with. But because we are so used to the size, we don't really appreciate the size and the performance of the Mac Mini because it's so stellar. It's truly an amazing tech breakthrough in history. Now, remember those big beefy computer towers? Oh, right. <laughs> they still make those types of computers in like the PC Windows area of things. But the Mac Mini, to me, it sort of represents an era of minimal computers with killer performance. And it's something to admire and eventually embrace. So this is the future of computers. Now, another persistent rumor is that we're gonna see USB-C ports and a card reader in the front of the Mac Mini. And the reason we haven't done so for a couple of years is because they have been using the same chassis for many years. And my guess here is it's probably due to some contract to produce a certain amount of Mac Minis over the years, but it's 2023. It's time to change things, right? So will we see a card reader in the next Mac Mini? I happen to believe that we will because we saw the car reader return to the MacBooks and the Mac Studio got one, and it's possible that Apple will stiff Mac Mini users just to make them upgrade to more expensive machines in the future, but I don't think they're gonna do that. And I've said this before and I'll say it again, the Mac Mini is one of Apple's most brilliant products. Most people see it as a simple gateway to the Apple ecosystem, and so does Apple for that matter. But because you can connect your Mac Mini to any monitor, it's just a really flexible machine. And because it's so bare bone, you can get it very cheap since any monitor, keyboard, or mouse will do. So would I suggest that people don't get the Mac Mini M2 and wait for the M3? And here I am going to have to say no, as I have done so for many years. You need to get what you need to get the job done today. Don't wait for better tech, because if you do that, you might as well wait forever, as technology is always improving. Of course, everything depends on what you use it for. And the only thing the Mac Mini doesn't do is gaming. I mean, you can play some games, but in general, this is a machine for editing videos, music, programming, and editing the web. Why am I pointing at the Mac? Book. It's this machine. <laughs> but because it was just recently revamped, it's a normal assumption to believe that they're not going to get updated anytime soon. But because the rumors are very persistent that the MacBook Pro is getting M3 in 2023, I believe the M2 update on the Mac Mini that we got in early 2023 was just a minor update. And it is also possible that Apple will have us waiting, but I believe that because iPhone 15 is gonna get pretty much the same design this year, and because the MacBooks and the iMac recently got a design change, only the Mac mini is left for any real major design change. And with that change, a CPU update will fit in nicely. The next Mac mini will be awesome. But so is the Mac Mini M2, and even the M1, which I currently use, you can't really go wrong. But as a fan of good tech, I'm really looking forward to Mac Mini M3, and I will probably upgrade it to that, most likely. Okay, that was all I had for today. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care, bye.